Alrighty. Got a walk cycle here. Perspective view. Looking a lot better than last time. That's a really good improvement. I love it. I think from this view, I think knees are slightly wobbly. And I feel like some of the impact rotations could be just a bit stronger. But it feels really nice. Let me go to the other view. And it's the side view. Given that it's A to B, a really nice solid feet. You can already see from the dark side here that they're angled. And you have a drag down, drag up, boom. I feel like that. I think that impact could be just a bit stronger and slightly retimed. Boom. Hey, I'm really talking like one, maybe two frames and just a bit sharper so that like in your graphite, your rotation has an ever so slight linear curve. So it's not spline, but not like a 45 degree um, linear, but slightly broken tangents and kind of make it a little bit pop home. So that can be, you know, ease in and then a slight linear curve. Just a bit. I'm reading more of a rotation up. But it's really picky, picky, picky. I look at the Y rotation. Is here that could potentially be pushed a little bit. I think it's already better, but I wonder if it's not going far enough in terms of the pullback. So, when you're here, it feels like we're getting to this, and then it kind of starts to go this way already, even though I would wait until here ish. It's definitely still a bit trailing. So, again, it's like a minimal move forward, super picky. More in the polishy stage. The biggest note, and I probably should have started with the biggest note, but I'm not always <laughs> starting with the biggest note. Mainly because from this view, now looking at it, I feel like I would love to get a stronger extension to a straight. The legs are always, you know, you're getting into this bend and you almost have like a bit of a, almost a sticky for that knee. So then only the shin goes forward. And then we're really kind of sticking in this area and then we're just never really extended. I know that's a pain, but you have to find a way to grab that and the graph it is globally moving forward and you have to adjust the knee a little bit, but then go back. I know it's a destructive note, but that's the only... It's not crazy because you don't always have to have like a full extension. I mean, it just feels a bit better. But I still feel like this is better than what you had before. It just has, just has this slight constant bent feel to it. Now, regardless of what you're going to do, it's pretend you want to keep it. You know, like you can do an assignment, just kind of leave it for now and then continue later and learn from it. I would just stabilize the knees. And you can see this. Let's go back a bit here. For instance, you take that knee as it goes forward. It has a nice move. It has a little bit of a quick, sudden move up. And then kind of a, almost a, a hold there a little bit in terms of height. And then as you go down, there's a bit of a, a bit of a shoot forward. I know it's because of the bends, but it could still be slightly reduced. Same thing here as your knee continues to go forward. Here we have a really sticky knee, ball and shin where nothing's moving. And then suddenly we're going up into that overextension there. But the funny thing is, this one, this is why I was talking, this is why I wanted to mention it. But now I feel like it's stronger on this end. If you look at that ball, as it goes down, it has that downward sun to the left move and then back to the right here and then forward. So if you look at this, that's just that ball. Wah, that wobble is not there. Hmm. So maybe they have, you started to add some offsets and things, so it's not a complete cycle. Let's watch out that the knees are not that wobbly. And then looking at it from the front view. Yeah, it's a bit of a chatter. Definitely better though. I think what's happening, especially in the front view here, you can see the 
the harshness of that heel up and then with that kneecap watch on that lift there's a little bit of a pop i would soften that because you're starting to do a, a foot roll and then we kind of hold a bit through there not too much but then you have this sudden lift here bang but then visually you go from this to here to here and it kind of sticks you can see the height there so just watch out it feels a bit strong a little pop there and again it's just everything is kind of in the, in the realm just a little bit softer nothing huge but i like that you have that rotation in there to then flatten later i think that's pretty cool you got your outer arcs and the steps and I think this is, again, the case where it feels like we are, as you take that step here, we're too strong in that lift here. Because you're doing the passing where we are like that. There's more weight on this. Hip is up. But then on that, it would still be straight down. Because you're only touching. You're not putting any weight on it yet. Even here, there is no weight yet on it. You're just planting down. So I would still keep this flat. And then boom the way kicks in and then you would actually be like that and not yet flat going the other way i think from the front view that was to me the biggest thing just those rotations felt a bit off but the overall left and right feels better it's just if you compare that to the older one so much better and i know i said to bring in those legs there, I say this almost feels this is so picky because it's polish here, but almost like take that leg, like that edge here, bring it to here. Just that bit it just feels a bit much. Could just be me. It's the only thing. Because I do like the bounces, I like the exaggeration in there. I mean, one thing you can do to offset this visually is just to kind of rotate this foot more and Y globally so that it's actually more like that it gives you a bit more of a balance because the toe is further out versus it ends here and it feels like there's so much weight over this but if that foot was rotated more you know so that line would be to me maybe here that could still work in terms of just the visual balance there watch out on the front view this foot when it goes up you're almost expecting an upwards out arc like this as you're starting to go out to the right, but then suddenly we're moving left, boop, and then it hits that wall, bang. You know, with those couple frames here, two frames, three frames, we're stuck on that line, and then it goes out. So watch out. And even the other one has a slight feel going this way because of that rotation, right? And then you go out this way, right there, and then it feels like we're going suddenly to the right. And then back to the left so again i think that the combination of the sudden pop up this left right and then the knee uh chatter gives it kind of the poppiness and the dirtiness there in the legs that i would tweak and then having that flat boom compression up or you know push up is going to add that bit of a stronger not a snappiness but a stronger impact on the hips that rotation left right like this feels just a bit soft in the body Alrighty, that is that. Thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.